hello. Let me introduce you to somebody. His name is Ralph. Doesn't have a last name. Doesn't need a last name. Ralph was born and raised in Tarkov and even started to raise a family. But recently, a few months back, Ralph found out his wife was cheated on with a man named Larry. Who names themselves Larry these days? Anyways, Ralph had enough and decided it was time to move on, get a divorce, finally escape from Tarkov. Now, Ralph just packed up a few things and left, trying to find a new place. Everything was taken, though, in this housing market out there. So Ralph found a underground bunker, decided to upgrade everything. It took him some time, but he got himself on his feet. He's got a Bitcoin farm. That's how big he's doing. Got a med station, nutrition center, even got a pooper. Top of the line security. I promise you, top of the line. Fingerprints and retinals. I really say retinals. Ralph, over these past few months, tried to escape from Tarkov, and well, he has survived many times, collecting gear. 405 times, to be exact. But Ralph has also been killed 249 times, but thankfully, a nice gal by the name of Therapist revives him every single time. What a nice gal. Over the past few months, Ralph has learned a lot about Tarkov, the different areas accessible at this time. Hopefully, new areas soon. Hopefully, these new areas finally allow Ralph to get out of Tarkov once and for all. But now is the time to just start sharing the story stories and the endeavors ralph does go on today we're gonna jump in with ralph as he tries a few new things one of these things he's trying is a whole new wardrobe of clothes see ralph has never been really great at clothes never been really good at matching stuff together always standing out getting laughed at but ralph finally went to ragman and said hey dude i need to look good i need to blend in i've been dying a lot been sticking out with my shirts and i need some help Ragman helped him out, picked him out a summer field shirt and some Gorka Cobra pants. Even got the green tennis shoes. What are those? Now, I'm getting all this new camouflage gear and really wanted to see if the different gear could help him survive and escape from Tarkov. Now, he knows that it's just not the, the shirt and the pants that he wears. It's also the gear that he brings into each raid. Ralph did some research on Wikipedia and found some of the best camouflage gear out there. We'll start with the backpack. A three-day backpack, small, compact, but the rig as well, when people look straight at you, you want to blend in. You don't want any radios or walkie-talkies sticking out. Ralph went with the Scout Sniper Tactical Rig. Now, there's a few different varieties of armor out there you could use. The Tactical Rig does go over the armor. This helps him blend in. Next up, we got his hat, the boonie hat. Now, there's two different kinds of headwear out there for Ralph. You got the boonie hat, but thankfully, if you wear the boonie hat, you can wear the contact force, and you can also wear a green schmog. Now, the one downside to all that is you can see the eyes. The eyes kind of poke out at you. If you're laying in a bush, you may easily be seen. Ralph did purchase a few of the Jack Pike hunting LLC boonie hats. The one downside of these boonie hats, you cannot wear an earpiece whatsoever. Is it worth sacrificing an earpiece so your entire face is blended in? We'll find out today. Now, you can have all the gear in the world to blend in, but what kind of weapon are you going to bring on in? Ralph has been really enjoying bolt-action rifles. So Ralph did some more research and found a few sniper rifles that he likes to keep it quiet. It's going to be the DVL-10 Silenced. It's the only green gun in the game. Helps you blend in. There are no scopes, unfortunately, that are green. You got the red razor or you got the voodoo scope. Ralph is a big fan of the razor. DVL is all also one of the quietest snipers in the game. The ammo of choice, M61, no tracer. You don't want to be seen when you take that shot. Ralph's sidearm choice can be the 5.7 with the silencer. Ralph likes to pack a punch and honestly, favorite pistol in the game. Now, there's a few other snipers that Ralph does enjoy. Now, if he doesn't want to be using the DVL, wants to try something else, his next weapon of choice is going to be the T5000. This gun has an insane muscle velocity, never going to be heard or seen. Next up is the SV98. This one shoots the SMB rounds. Silencer is still pretty darn quiet, but definitely a unique sound nonetheless. And lastly, Ralph hasn't used this gun yet. A little nervous. It's a pretty pricey gun with some pretty pricey ammo. Covenant 338 gun. And you know what? You can throw a silencer on this thing. The Lapua ammo that he uses is FMJ. Can't find the AP anywhere. He's looked far and thin. Ralph even threw a night force on that bad boy. So those are the both actions Ralph has assembled, put together. Now Ralph wants to go into the raid and see if his camo make a difference in the kind of kills that he gets. Can he blend in or does he stand out? We'll find out. All right, we're hopping into Woods, our very first raid with the new camo. Honestly, it's one of my most favorite maps that I've been playing as of recently. Been having a lot of good PvP throughout the entire map, thankfully, not just in Sawmill. We are doing this raid with a buddy of mine. His name is Berserker. I've been doing a lot of raids with him this wipe with Ralph himself, hanging out with him for the first Woods raid. Our goal of this raid is to go over to the outpost area and see if we can't get any PvP action. 
I'm still working on the outpost quest, and I believe my friend Berserker is working on Swift One, which if you don't know what Swift One is, is killing 20 PMCs without any armor or helmet on woods itself. Spawn over at outskirts, I always like to rush over across the water. You can go up to USEC camp, sometimes Ralph enjoys going up to USEC camp up there, but for the most part, always shooting down along the beach. Pushing up through sawmill. Not trying to really engage anyone there yet. I want to try to get up on top. That is that med area. Get up on saddle here. Okay. Okay, I'll come in there with you. Big snipe shots from some in the woods right back up in there. I'm not sure exactly where they are. I gotta run a cover real quick. Holy cow, this is intense. Freaking hurt right now, my thorax, man. Ah, uh, someone called the ambulance. Right? Yep, that's me right here. Yep, yep, that's me. Oh, no one. Shot from. Oh, yep. Ooh. Nowhere. No, he's like hiding somewhere in the probably the trees or something. Yeah, it was pretty far away. I didn't see a tracer at all, so maybe a M80 bullet or I guess I am wearing class four. Uh, that sees me. Class four armor here, but we'll see what we can't do. I need to get outpost kills to see if these folks in there know that we pushed in there. And I don't have armor. I'm getting on site. Yep. People have looted this. Copy. I don't know where these snipe shots are coming from. I'm gonna pull my sniper here and see if I can't. No, nothing up there. Oh, they would have killed someone on here. Where the hell is this sniper guy at? Got him. Nice. He hit me from a good distance. He may be in the woods. Sorry for taking your outpost kill. You're good, bro. Oh, he's not up there. Just remember someone's still sniping us. I think he was in the tree line. Take a look at these woods over here. God, I wish I had a thermal, man. It'd be nice. I'll right, we'll push out a med box here a little bit. Do a little flanky flanky. I don't know if it's really a flank. Just kind of pushing out of there. Caught in between right here. Whatever you want to work at, Bruce. If you want to, like, flank around, we can stay here. Okay, I'm gonna try to flank right to the back side here. Do my best. I see him. He's on kill me. This guy looks like a good chat in the corner. Is so anybody right there? No, that corner. Yep. Two of them. <sighs> well, obviously that first raid did not go as planned. That dude's bunny hop was insane. I uh, just perfect time for him. Kind of jumped over a few of my shots. Watching that in slow mo, it's just ah uh, hurts my soul. Well, that's the first raid in there, unsuccessful. We'll go into another woods run with two other friends of mine. We'll hop in there and see if we can't blend in more i'm gonna try to focus less 
on going into med box and other areas and kind of try to stay in the shadows as much as I can to maybe get a kill or two in our next woods raid. You know, I like to get some gear, get some loot, get some high tier loot, man. I need that really badly. It looks like we spawned over by USEC camp out here. So we'll try to push into USEC camp, into the first camp from the spawn, and maybe catch someone in that second camp. We'll see if we can't find someone in here. It's been hit or miss recently finding people in USEC camp. A lot of people will just push checkpoint and push into sawmill itself just because they're trying to get their Sturman kills. Uh, someone's at the next camp. I saw him. They are past the car from left to right, so they're by the tent, I think. Okay. I'm sure they heard me running. Were they kind of acting oblivious, or did they're they kind of acting oblivious? Okay. They were, like I said, back uh, by the tent back there. Okay. You're good. I saw him. They're pu he's pushing down now. Okay. Hit him once. Doesn't know where I'm at. Got him. Good kill. Oh my I god, dude. He did not see me. See a buddy of his, so I'm gonna lose body real quick. He had a brand new gazelle on him too. After getting our first confirmed bolt action sniper kill with the new gear, we head on up to what is known as Sniper Rock to take a look over at Med Tent and just over in the Ruoff area and see if we can't see any PMCs running around Sawmill as well. But nothing was seen, so we'll head on down from here and head towards the medical tent area and the Ruoff extract. What level was that guy? You said 24 or something? No, 11. You meanie. Ah. And he had a gazelle. Brand new gazelle. Yep. Oh, a little bit further down. Hell yeah. This big crater right I here. I got eyes on it. I'm, go I'm running to it right now. I'm going to see what it is. After finding nothing in the airdrop other than an M1A, we decide to head over to Med to see if there's any PMC to the left on the map. But sadly, it's starting to rain. Oh! There's a PMC in here! Where is he? Where is he? On me. I'm gonna get the killer. Got him. Fuck. Sorry. I was holding back because I didn't think he was in here. That was a scab player. Oh, okay, gotcha. Was that it? Was it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, after nearly pooping myself, thinking that was a PMC, it was a player scab, we decided to head to extract. Maybe pick up a few scabs along the way. Maybe catch someone extracted from outskirts. Pretty successful raid, and honestly, I'm feeling like these clothes are really allowing me to blend in. Got in front of me. Got him. Oh. What the fuck? Got him. Oh, I see the second one, yep. Not second one. Very successful raid right there, and let me tell you, that one PMC kill there just boosted Ralph's confidence sky high. The remainder of the year, Ralph is going to be using this camouflage clothing, and I will be changing it depending on the map that I play and the gear that I wear. But that's something that, you know, you should play your strengths too. Blending on in in some of the woody debris, or if you wear dark clothes to blend in and interchange, can make a big difference out there. Being able to spot the enemy first and escape from Tarkov is very critical. If you're not the best PvPer and you spot the enemy first and they don't see you and you get those first couple shots, you have that much higher chance of survival compared to the enemy. There's been many times I've surprised people on woods throughout the time, interchange, customs, depending on the clothing that I wear.
Well, Ralph now needs to go do some laundry, get some sleep, drink some Kavas water, and just reset the mind. Where will Ralph go next? What clothing will Ralph wear? Tune in next time to the life of Ralph. Thanks for watching.